Good day students and welcome back to Science for Young Minds with Mary Meriwith Education Center. My name is Teacher Babs and this series is for Pratum 5. In today's episode, we will learn about Natural Phenomena Involving Water Have you ever wondered where the rain comes from? Or how the clouds are formed? That is our lesson for today. It's all about water cycle. Before that, let's have our vocabulary part first. At the end of this part, you will be able to spell and pronounce the vocabulary words correctly. Here are the important words for this lesson. Please say them with me. Number one, natural. Number two, phenomena. Number three, water cycle. Number four, evaporation. Number five, transpiration. Number six, condensation. And lastly, number seven, precipitation. Let's learn more about each word. Are you ready, students? For our first word, let's say the word natural. Please say it again, natural. Very good. Can you say the word by yourself? Excellent. Now let's learn an example sentence. Because the meal was made with natural ingredients, it is much healthier to eat. Please read the sentence on your own. That was fantastic! Now let's learn another one. Second word, phenomena. Let's say it again, phenomena. Good job! Can you say the word by yourself? Excellent! Now let's learn an example sentence. Glaciers are unique and interesting natural phenomena. Please read the sentence on your own. Very good! Let's learn another one. Say the word with me, water cycle. Let's say it again, water cycle. Good job! Can you say the word by yourself? Excellent! Now let's learn an example sentence. The water cycle shows the continuous movement of water within the earth and atmosphere. Please read the sentence on your own. Fantastic! Now let's learn another one. Say the word with me, evaporation. Let's say it again, evaporation. Very good! Please say the word by yourself. Excellent! Now let's learn an example sentence. There was evaporation of water from the leaf. Please read the sentence on your own. Very good! Say the word with me, transpiration. Let's say it again, transpiration. Very good! Please say the word by yourself. Amazing! Now let's learn an example sentence. Plant roots absorb and release moisture from the ground during transpiration. Please read the sentence on your own. Amazing! Now let's learn another one. 
For our next word, please say the word with me, condensation. Let's say it again, condensation. Very good. Can you say the word by yourself? Excellent. Now let's learn an example sentence. There was condensation on the windows. Please read the sentence on your own. Very good! Now let's learn another one. For our last word, say the word with me, precipitation. Let's say it again, precipitation. Very good! Can you read the word by yourself? Great! Now let's learn an example sentence. When we talk about precipitation, we are talking about water that is falling out of the sky. Please read the sentence on your own. Amazing! Let's proceed to our lesson part. At the end of this lesson, students are able to know what the water cycle means and consists of. In today's episode, we will learn about the steps of the water cycle and how it occurs. Water on the earth is continuously going around from the land to the sky and back. It is called water cycle. Now, let's begin with a question on your screen. What happens in a water cycle? Any idea, students? Alright! As we know, we have different natural sources of water like rivers, lakes, streams, oceans, and even ponds. The sun causes the water from this water surface to evaporate. This process is called evaporation. Where? Liquid change into water vapor or steam as it rises up in the air. Do you know that you too can do this process? How? It is by asking your parents to boil some water. As the water gets heated, you will be able to see water vapor that is going up in the air. The water vapor in the atmosphere rises, it cools and turns into tiny water droplets. Now, these tiny water droplets combine to form clouds. This is the second process of water cycle, which is Condensation. Very good. Now, this cloud begins its journey by being blown by the wind. It makes them travel from one place to another place. And when there are too many water droplets, the clouds become heavy. As the clouds become heavier, the water droplets fall back to the earth in the form of rain. This is the process called precipitation or it can be any form of water that falls back to the earth. It can be in the form of rain, snow, sleet, or even hail. The rainwater flows through the rivers into lakes, seas, and oceans, as what you can see on your screen. Snow, and glaciers melt in flow into lakes, seas, and oceans also. 
Due to gravity, the water from the land surface seeps into the ground and becomes groundwater. We have another important process where plants absorb water from the ground through their roots. Then, plants lose water from their leaves as water vapor, as what you can observe on the examples on your screen. This process is called transpiration. Do you know that animals also help in water cycle? By how? Well, animals release water in the form of water vapor to the atmosphere through breathing. Animals also release water by the form of sweat and remove excess water by the form of urine. The water from the sweat and urine evaporate to become water vapor. Let's sum it up. These are the processes of water cycle. Firstly, we have the collection of water from a water source. The sun causes the water from a water source to evaporate and become water vapor. This process is the second process in a water cycle called evaporation. Third process is the condensation or when the water vapor cools and turns into tiny water droplets. The water droplets combine to form clouds. And the last process is precipitation, or any form of water that falls back to the earth. The whole cycle will repeat itself. It's trivia time! Did you know that trees play an important role in the water cycle, grounding the water in the roots and releasing it into the atmosphere? In the Amazon, more than half the water in the ecosystem is held within the plants. Without the trees and plants, the climate may become drier. That's all for today, students of Maravit Education Center. Thank you for listening and happy learning! Bye!